Hi guys, I just want to walk you through a few example problems for the Doppler effect. And again, hopefully you watched the Edpuzzle videos and that made sense. If not, feel free to send me a message. So in problem, or first off, we have our equation for the Doppler effect. Really, it's comparing relative velocities. Um, so our, our, is the observer encountering more waves per time, meaning a higher frequency or a higher note? Or is the, the rate at which he's or her is hearing um, the waves decreasing? So it's going to be that lower frequency or lower note. So just um, a couple things here. It does say it in the notes here. FO, O meaning the observer. And FS, S meaning frequency of the source. These Vs here are the speed of sound. So we're going to use speed of sound usually unless given otherwise um, as 343 meters per second. Our VO is the velocity of the observer, whoever or whatever is hearing the sound. And then VS is the velocity of the source, whatever's making the sound. And the most complicated part for people usually is this whole uh, when to add and when to subtract deal. So we can go by these set of rules, where for the top part, we'll use here, and then for the bottom part, we'll use down the bottom here. That's how that's lined up. So we're going to add the, that top velocity when the observer is approaching, meaning, approaching meaning getting closer to or moving towards. Uh, we would subtract when the observer is receding, receding meaning going away from, getting farther away. And then the opposite for the bottom. And again, just another reminder, approaching is in the top and then receding is in the bottom for both cases. But you notice that the signs switch from plus to minus to minus to plus. Okay, so in our first problem, we have a train moving. 25 meters per second towards the observer and it's sounding a whistle at a frequency of 200 hertz so sometimes for these if it's hard to see what thing is moving which way it's good to yep draw the picture so if we have our train oops it's a great train moving this way at 25 meters per second and we have an observer with probably waiting for the train who is stationary, and if you're stationary, your velocity is going to be zero. And we have our speed of sound and our frequency of that sound. So we need to figure out um, what sound is the observer going to hear. And just remembering the basic concept of the Doppler effect, is that, that that neural sound. So as something is approaching you making a noise, it's going to be higher pitch. As it's going away from you, it's going to be lower pitch. So th in this case, the observer should hear something higher than that 200 hertz whistle. Um, so we're looking for our observed frequency. Our source frequency is 200 hertz. V is just the speed of sound in there. Extend this out here. And since the observer is not moving, it's neither receding or approaching, so it's really just zero, plus or minus. So it really doesn't change that top value. And then in the bottom, the source is approaching, so we're going to subtract, because that's what our rule says right here. And that was at 25 meters per second. So when we plug that all into a calculator, we should get an observed frequency of about 215.7 hertz. And one thing to note is making sure you know how to use your calculator. Um, in this case, not that big of a deal because we've got the zero up top, but making sure you are plugging things in according to the correct order of operations. That's the, another biggest issue there. Um, so let's do one with stationary source moving observer. So in this case, we have a fire station emitting a whistle at 200 hertz again. And sound is still 343 meters per second, and the frequency heard by the driver 
or we're, that we're looking for the frequency heard by the driver traveling at 25 meters per second. So basically the same numbers, but the scenario switched around. So we're looking for that observed frequency where the fire station was giving off that, that siren at 200 hertz. Again, 343. You'll see the pattern starting to, to develop here. It's always the 343s. Now our observer is the one moving and it's moving towards the fire station. So when it's approaching the fire station, we're gonna add, so that's at 25 meters per second. And usually fire stations don't move, right? They're fixed structures. So it's just gonna be zero. I just put that plus or minus zero in there for emphasis. You can just leave it off if you like. And when we plug that incorrectly into our calculators, according to order of operations, we should get around 214 Point six hertz. So go ahead and finish the remaining problems in that assignment. Refer to the answer key on Schoology. If you have any questions, send me a message. Thanks.